In this video we introduce you to our camper, the Juicy Coaster, with which we first traveled the south and then the north island of New Zealand. Maybe you are planning your camper road trip through the most beautiful country in the world, then this video will definitely help you. When we started looking for a suitable camper for our New Zealand adventure, the Juicy Coaster was the newest model on the camper market and fit our needs directly in terms of size, structure and equipment, but above all because the coaster is certified as a self-contained camper. With this certification we were also allowed to stay overnight at all Freedom campsites in New Zealand. To make your choice of camper a little easier, we would like to show you this Juicy Coaster in more detail. And now Melissa will do that for you. Yes, that's him, our juicy camper van, which faithfully accompanied us for 4 weeks. We called him Mo. Yannick now has the license plate LSE800 very well. And here's our little Kiwi who doesn't have a name yet. Let's start with Yannick's seat, where he sat most of the time. Me too sometimes, but not that often. It's a diesel and automatic, it drove very well and also very quietly. Really a top car. This is my place, so this is where I sat most of the time and this is where I read most of the time. So this was our typical split. I drove and Melissa read from the guidebook and we then decided together what to do next as we drove. Or from our own travel guide which we developed and wrote before the trip. Our motto for this holiday? Life rocks when your living room rolls. Now I will show you the camper from the inside. That's him. Here is a bench that you can fold up, you can store a lot of things in it, for us it was mostly our food. Here is the cloth rail that replaces the notorious Yannick clothes chair. Then here is our bed, you may not think so, but it's really very comfortable. When you fold it up, you have a table and dining chairs. A bit of storage space, and if you look here closely, Yannick's control center. Then back there is electricity and a water pump, here in front the wastewater outlet and behind it the fresh water inlet. So everything is well packed. Here below then the shoes on the shelf. You get everything inside and the suitcases are in the middle, fits perfectly. This is what it looks like when the bed is folded up and you have a table and two benches. Very convenient. You've probably already wondered where our kitchen is located. Ta-da! There it is! We'll start from left to right. There is space here to store a few things, such as our rubbish. Here are boxes for food. Below the sink. And here are some hoses for cleaning. Here you can find the cutlery. Below is the fridge with a small freezer compartment. And finally the highlight. Of course we also had a stovetop in the form of a gas cooker. And underneath we still stored the dishes. Pots, pans, plates and cutlery, everything is there. We named the camper Mo for our trip, but it's a juicy coaster. You can find it on the internet, Google, Facebook, YouTube or Instagram. And another important thing, in order to be able to stand and camp freely, you need the self-contained certification, otherwise it doesn't work. So this was our little camper guide, I hope you liked it. If you are looking for the right camper for your New Zealand adventure or your trip to another dream country, then take a look at the boys and girls from the Camper Oase. You will find the link in the video description below. Now here comes camper porn in New Zealand. Let's go!